What's up guys, PeekupTCG here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Darkrai V-Star and Silver Tempest. Is it still a good deck, or has it fallen off and never recovered? Today we're going to look at my Darkrai V-Star list and see what can Silver Tempest do to make this deck better. And I think that we figured out a way that we can keep Darkrai kind of relevant in this current format. So Darkrai V-Star has the powerful Dark Pulse attack, uh, which does 30 plus and 30 more energy, or er, 30 more damage for each Dark Energy attached to all of your Pokemon, meaning that if we get a whole bunch of Dark Energy in play, we can get our Darkrai set up super quickly. Now, the good thing about Darkrai is it has plenty of really great attackers and support Pokemon to keep it going and make sure that the whole combo works really well. So, the special new thing from Silver Tempest that uh, kind of allows Darkrai to get an extra little boost is Ho-Oh V using its Reviving Flame ability, uh, reviving, really reviving this deck, I believe. Uh, Ho-Oh V allows you to uh, put a Ho-Oh on your bench if it is in the discard pile, and you may attach up to four basic energy cards attached to it, or in from the discard pile to it, meaning you can put four extra energies or 120 extra damage worth of dark energies back into play and your turn ends. But the thing about Ho-Oh is that it gets a whole bunch of energies in play and that's what we want to do. Reviving Flame obviously ends our turn, but we also uh, can keep our Pokemon safe with Diancie with the Princess's Curtain ability to make sure that there's no gusting going on and uh, that we can keep the Pokemon that we want. Um, we are also playing one copy of Galarian Moltres from Evolving Skies as our just a single prize attacker uh, against stuff like Blissey Miltank or just kind of against those Miltank builds, but also for his Mavalent Charge ability and Fiery Wrath attack. Just everything about Moltres really screams like really good in the it's very good in this deck. So Mavalent Charge allows us to put two more extra energies in play, which is a total of 60 more damage with our Dark Pulse attack. And Fiery Wrath allows us to do up to uh, 270 damage with uh, its Fiery Wrath attack, meaning that Moltres is a very strong uh, single prize attacker in here. We are also playing two copies of Galarian Moltres V with its Dire Flame Wings ability to be able to consistently get ourselves energies into play without having to use something like Dark Patch, as Moltres is basically its own Dark Patch. So, uh, and Aura Burn for 190 is also really good against stuff like uh, Mewtwo V-Star or against Mew V-Max. Um, and we finally, for our last few Pokemon, we are playing two copies of Crobat V with the Dark Asset ability to be able to draw cards until we have six cards in our hand, just kind of to draw ourselves out of a bad situation. And then we are playing Radiant, one copy of Radiant Greninja with a Concealed Cards ability to be able to discard an energy card from our hand and to draw two cards, um, allowing us to consistently go through our deck and also while getting energies in the discard pile. Now, the good thing that Dark has uh, right now is Dark Patch from Astro Radiance, which allows us to attach a basic energy card from our discard pile to one of our benched Dark Pokemon, meaning that we can set up a Dark Pokemon just like that, or we can power up Dark Pulse even faster. Uh, we are playing one copy of Escape, or uh, excuse me, Echoing Horn, uh, to either clog up Lugia matchups or be able to uh, put back a vulnerable V, and then we can gust it up. Um, but Echoing Horn is a really nice addition for this deck because it allows you to get plays off that you might not be able to get otherwise. Um, yeah, the rest of the list is pretty straightforward. I don't think there's any real um, special spice other than the <clears throat> Ho OV. We are playing uh, two copies of Serena just to uh, either have discard and draw effects or uh, gusting effects. And we are playing one copy of Boss for the single prize matchup or in case we just want a guaranteed Boss's orders. But the rest of the list is pretty straightforward. And um, yeah, it's very simple. It's uh, very easy to play. And uh, if you have uh, any Dark Rise lying around for maybe like a Dark Rise V box you might have bought, this, I believe, is a very easy to build and very optimal list to play, either in real life or on PTCGO. So, 
with all that being said, before we head into some gameplay, let's check out Pokegear.app, the application that this video is supporting. This video supports Pokegear.app, a Pokemon deck building website created by my friend Jake Gearhart. Pokegear offers accurate, up-to-date prices on every card straight from TCG Player. Pokegear also easily allows you to insert proxies into your lists, perfect for any pre-release deck building. If you want to support the channel and Jake, try Pokegear today by going to pokegear.app or click the link in the description. Now, back to the video! Alright, let's head into our first game here. I did already record uh, kind of the start of a game here, but it decided to uh, cut out, and so I am redoing it, which is real swell, but uh, yeah, Dark Ride is pretty neat. It's um, really easy to be able to learn. Um, let's see, what kind of hand do we have? Our opponent is going first, so... Oof, my PTCGO for some reason is being incredibly laggy right now. We will not place down the Dark Ride, just in case they have some sort of weird escape rope play. They're starting even worse than we are, so... Um, we comfortably could... Theoretically, no, we could not get the Moltres Donk. That's one thing about this deck is you can get the Moltres, uh, the Galarian Moltres V in play, and you can get a Donk with it. So, um, Basculin, that doesn't tell us very much about what we're facing. Uh, Lost Box. I think we might be facing a Lost Box variant, or we might be facing... Uh... I don't know what else plays, like, basic fire energy. Uh, gather the crew. Okay. So they're going to pass to us. We're really lagging right now. So I think we'll go air balloon here. We'll go... I don't know if I want to put down choice belt, because I don't know if this is just a single prize deck. Uh, we will attach another air balloon to the dark eye. And then we'll research. Uh, we are losing that dark energy, but that's okay. Man, this game's really lagging. Um, I don't know what's in our prize cards, but we're not going to risk anything weird here. We'll quick ball away. We'll quick ball away Echoing Horn. You know what? We'll... And we'll grab Crobat. We can Moltres on two energies. That's fine. We'll use a Zooey and Heavy Ball. There we go. There are no Pokemon in here. We did prize a Dark Patch, Ordinary Rod, Dark Energy. Okay. And then we will use Crobat to draw until we have six in our hands. So we'll draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Radiant Greninja. Um, we'll go Trekking Shoes first. See if we get something we might like. Um, no. That's okay. We don't need Choice Belt by the looks of it. Let's go Quick Ball the Ultra Ball. And we'll grab ourselves Moltres V. We'll grab the character rare one because I really love the character rare of Moltres V. So we'll grab that, slap it on the bench. I do believe that we have one energy in here. We use Dire Flame Wings and then I think we will... So we might be able to see what we're playing against, um, what our opponent really has in store here. Um, they have Basculin, they have Manaphy. Magma Basin, so I, I believe what we might be playing something like Radiant Charizard Box, or... Uh, they're gonna Serena to discard to draw, probably. Yep. Uh, I don't know what we're facing, really. 
So they're gonna gather the crew. We'll finally get to see what we're up against. Okay, we're against Brakeson. Okay, so I haven't actually faced Brakeson that really at all. Um, we'll slap down Darkrai V Star. We'll quick ball. Probably the quick ball. And we'll grab another Crobat. Man, my PTC Geo really is lagging today. Um, Alright, let's see. We got Escape Rope. We got Research. We have Serena. There are plenty of options. I think the best choice here is to just go for the Research. Because we can uh, still use our... Wow, we did not get a whole bunch of great stuff here. We'll go Training Court. Um, training Court for an energy back. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think we can attack with Darkrai this turn, but we can at least set up. I know we should probably be trying to take... Oh, wait, no, we can attack with Darkrai if we were to use Star Abyss. So we will use Star Abyss, just so that way we can get ahead really quickly here. Let's see if our opponent has any Pokemon in their discard pile. They don't. Okay, so Echoing Horn isn't good. We don't want Heavy Ball. We know that there's nothing in there. We could grab a Trek, or we could grab an Ultra Ball. And then we'll grab Trek. So now, with those cards, we only have 17 cards left in deck. How? Wow. Deck management is, uh, not doing too great today. And we will go and attach to our Dark Right V-Star. We will Trek. Uh, we'll take it, even though we can't use it yet. We'll retreat. And we will go ahead and use Dark Pulse. For 180. So, a lot of setup for what looks to be a, a little bit of... Uh, for just a little bit of damage. Yeah, my PTC Geo is really lagging. So they got down their Breaks in. And the Radiant Charizard. You see, I'm a little scared of the Radiant Charizard. Um, we'll see exactly what goes on here. Because we could try and get our boss, which is not prized, and it's in the 16 cards in here. So, we'll see what happens. They're probably going to go Inviting Ears or Double Serena. Um... But we'll see exactly. This is not really a meta matchup in, by either player. So they got their twin. How much are they doing for each? 60. So they would still need a choice belt. They still need a choice belt and they still need uh, uh, fourth Serena. In order to be able to get knockouts with the breaks in. So we should probably start. Oh, we do have single prize Moltres. They're going to Serena probably away. No, they're going to boss up our Crobat. Which is interesting because that means. That they only are doing 120. Okay. Look, I don't have an issue with that. If they're going to... Because then we can switch, and then we can Marnie. Because now they're targeting something else. We can go switch into that. We can attach to Moltres V. Or no, we'll attach to a single prize Moltres. And then we'll Marnie, because then they can't use that other Serena... Or their Meowstick. 
if PTCGO will actually let me use Marnie. There we go. Yeah, we'll play Marnie. Alright, let's see what we grab. Okay, so... We could get rid of the Serena and the Energy with the Ultra Ball. We'll go ahead and do that, just so that way we can get an Energy in the discard pile. And shuffle up the deck a bit. We can also thin out something that we might not want. Um, Dark Ray V-Star, probably. Just to get it out of our... Here. We'll, then we'll Dire Flame Wings. On that energy that we Ultra Balled. And now, they have... Just that Radiant Charizard. Which we should be able to now take out with the... Um... Now we can take out with the, <clears throat> excuse me, with the single price Moltres, or with the Moltres V, because they have 160 HP, so they do get their Meow Stick. That is totally okay, because we do knock out this Radiant Charizard, I think we can just advance the game to the point where we can... Uh, just be comfortable with price trade. They, they're probably going to target my Crobat again. They might leave it, because they do 250. So they might target something else. But I think that their main concern right now is to take out this Darkrai V-Star. So they're going to grab double Serena. Now, whether they have Ultra Ball, which would be the worst case scenario, and be able to use one and discard the other, that's a capture energy. That's not... So right now, I'm more concerned about the Radiant Charizard than I am... Okay, so they are... Whew, okay. Because I am more concerned about the... Hmm. We'll see what happens, I guess, because I think we want to get rid of this Radiant Charizard. Alright, well, we'll see what they do. They'll either discard... Or... No, they're going to gust up my other Crowman. They can't attack, though. I think they're just trying to stall for a turn. Okay, we can just go attach, retreat. And then we can Dire Flame. I think we'll just go attach, retreat. Into... Uh, we'll go into the Moltres, actually, I think. Because then we can use Dire Flame Wings... Then we can Marnie them. Because we know that they have the last Serena in their hand. So we might be able to... Uh... Okay, so we do have Boss. So no matter what they try and do now, we have Boss on whatever we want. So I think we don't even want to use Trekking Shoes right now. And we'll just go Uruk. For 380 damage. All right. We will take that. There we go. The game's starting to speed up a bit. I don't know. It might just be my computer is a little slow today. But they are... I don't know. For each prize card we've taken. So they do get the knockout with the Radiant Zard. But they're not attacking the... Uh, kind of the main Pokemon here. Fiery Wrath only does not does not do enough. Okay, so they're going all in. <laughs> we'll see exactly how this game ends because this can end one of two ways. And they're okay. So they are trying to. Okay, so we want to take care of this. We want to take care of the Radiant Zard, I think. If we can please put up the Dark Rai V Star, that would be real nice. So I think our goal for this turn is to 
first off training court to get rid of their magma basin again. Then we'll trek. Mm, nah, we don't want the switch. We'll take the other card, which is a dark patch. We'll go there. Um, we'll go dire flame. We will attach. Uh, we could go Dark Patch, or we could save it. I think we should save it. Because we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, times 3. 8 times 3, so we're doing 240. We are knocking out this Radiant Charizard. Putting us down to just 2 prize cards remaining. We'll see how the game finishes off. They do knock out the V-Star. Um... I think we do potentially lose here, unless they somehow get starved of energy, which they've already used a twin. They've already used a twin. Oh, they're not doing enough, that's right. Okay, well then I think we just win the game. Training court for an energy back. We'll just get the Crobats ready just in case. We do need to hit with the Crobat. We can't go Dire Flame. Let's go Dire Flame. Um. Let's just go Dark Pulse. I nerf. Let's see. We actually do have Knock, I think, because 120 with Fiery Wrath. Let's see. Hold on. Let's just double check our math. I do believe that Fiery Wrath does get the knockout. So we'll just go ahead and use Fiery Wrath. Put us down to one prize card and checkmate our opponent. So, I forgot that we had Marnied them out of their last Serena. So, well played by our opponent, but we were able to Marnie them uh, out of the resources. And, uh, that was, that was fun. That was a good matchup. That was a good match. Um, so we really got to show off most of Dark Ride in that matchup. Uh, we'll head into another game after I figure out what's going on with my computer. But, uh, that was a really good matchup. Uh, that breaks in deck was pretty fun to be able to play against. Um, yeah, but we were able to do over a thousand damage with that game there. In that game. So that was real cool. Alright, we'll get into another game in just a second. But, for the time being, let me figure out what's going on with my computer. And I'll see you in just a second. Alright, heading into our next game here, we do get a mulligan, which kind of sucks because this was a pretty decent hand, but we will try again. Um, it's always the good hands that get mulliganed for me at least. Okay, we are not looking too great. We might want... Uh, we'll see what we, do, we get here. Our opponent will take a mulligan card. Um... But yeah, we are trying to get that Ho-Oh combo again. Okay, Hizuian Zorark. That is a uh, deck that I just recently finished. Um, they trekking shoot away in other trekking shoes. Interesting choice. Um, belt. Okay, another Zorark and pass. Okay. So we do have a backup Dark Ride, which is really really nice. Uh, Trek. We'll take it. We're not gonna discard Trek like them. So this allows us to be able to... Ooh, we'll take that. We'll take that and we'll put that in our hand. We'll put down the Mole Trace. Um, we'll go Escape Rope. Make them put up their other Zorark without the... We'll go Training Court. And we'll go Research. Because now we put the whole O in the discard pile. And let's see what we can grab off Hizuian Heavy Ball. 
there are no valid cards. Air Balloon, two energies, choice belt, and research, and a dark right V star. Okay, not too horrible. At this point, we can switch into the other dark right just to burn off a card. We can attach here, and then we can crowbat for three. Trying to find like Radiant Greninja. Trek. Uh, no, we don't want Marnie because we have one in our hand already. I'm just gonna draw another ordinary rod. We could use Ho Oh, but we're not going to. I think we're just gonna pass, which kind of stinks because that was pretty decent. They most likely will evolve. They they're still missing like Gape Jaw and uh. That sort of stuff. They're gonna grab Gengar, which leaves me to believe uh, that they will be grabbing their V-Star. There it is, with the Ultra Ball. They might just use their V-Star power. So that means they'll be doing... Uh, if they are able to switch, <clears throat> they will be doing... Oh, no, they're not going to. So they're gonna be doing a grand total of... Probably 100 right now, with the current state. They are doing 100 damage. So they're looking for, like, Damage Pump here. Or they're looking for Gape Jaw. And they d really could do it. We are looking kind of in a bad situation. We've used all three of our Trek and Choose. Um, and our Moltres has not gotten any energies on it. There's a Damage Pump. So I don't think that they can knock us out right now. Gape Jaw, they can probably, yeah. They actually are missing... Right now, they're only doing... They're not doing enough. Because if they put a fourth one down, then they're only doing 200 damage. Uh, if they play double turbo minus that, that, they would still be short a little bit. Which would be really good for us, because then we can... Uh, kind of just... We can just chill. They still have their V-Star power, though. Okay, uh... Okay, yeah, they're probably gonna get the knockout here. They're gonna get that knockout, which really does stink, but that's okay, because what we can do is uh, try and crawl back into this game. I know we missed the crucial Ho-Oh turn. Um, they're just gonna, yep, there is the Phantom Star to draw six. Now, what do they have? Double Turbo. Do they have an extra Pokemon? Oh, they do. They do have the Gengar. Let's see if they remember to place down the Gengar. If they don't, then we're we're doing all right. Nope, they do remember the Gengar, which that is unfortunate. So, yeah, we'll see what we can do. We might just scoop <laughs> because we had a real bad start. Um, I think we want to put the Crobat up. Because we could Marnie into a, like a research or something. Or like, into an air balloon. Ooh, Quick Ball. Good top deck there. Um, let's go Quick Ball the energy. We will grab probably Radiant Greninja. We are not going to place down the Radiant Greninja until we place down this training court. We'll now plays down the Radiant Greninja. We will not Dire Flame. We want to Dark Patch first. On that one Dark Energy card there. And then we will Marty. Which does reset their hand. And gives us a new one. Okay, so we have Ultra Ball. We do have a few things we can do with this hand. Uh, I think we should go Concealed Cards first. Just draw some extra cards. Try and see... Oh, right, right. Try and see what we can get. We do have an extra Dark Patch and a Quick Ball. Hmm. Let's think here. We can Ultra Ball. We do have Switch 2, so we can attack the Zoroark this turn. Uh, Ho-Oh, we don't want that. I think we want to place down another Dark Ride. Ultra Ball. We could Training Court for an Energy back. Yeah, we'll Training Court for an Energy back because we can just put that back in the discard pile. 
Let's go Ultra Ball, Away Energy, and... Hmm. See, this is the issue here. I guess we'll just double Energy, because we can get both of them back into the play. And we want a Dark Rye V-Star. Go Dark Rye V-Star. We can go Dark Patch. Onto the Moltres. Then we'll Dire Flame onto the Moltres. Switch into here. We can Quick Ball the Serena and we can Crobat for 6. Okay, I can see, I can kind of see this setting up in a way. I don't know what else we can do. Yeah, there's a quick wall, the, hmm, quick ball, the rod. And we'll put, get another dark eye, just to have, and then Ooh, do we do we even have any dark energies in here? No, we don't. So we'll just dark pulse. This is a uh, not good because we have to two shot these guys. So this is possible just scooping grounds here, and we might just scoop for time for the video because I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to watch a whole uh, losing match here. Um, we're only doing 150 after all of that, so. Yeah, I think that this is just scooping grounds because they are gonna just keep churning through and we only were able to do 150 damage after all that setup. So, Darkrai is um, really risky. Its uh, consistency can be a little shaky. Uh, energies are incredibly important, especially to get in the discard pile or in your hand. So if you lose out on some of those energies, you really do lose out on doing a whole bunch of damage. So we're heading into our next game here, and it looks like we are against a uh, Pikachu. We got Pikachu deck sleeves, which I appreciate that. Let's put up the Darkrai. So this is going to be a interesting hand, to say the least. Crobat. I hate when I feel bad for my opponent here because they are starting with the Crobat. They do get a quick ball. So, I mean, they're still able to keep this game a little bit interesting. But we'll see what they're up. Another Hizuian Sword. What is going on here? That is twice in a row. I have it on recording, too. I don't know why they. I feel like there are a few misplays happening right now. Uh, you would have put down the Gape Jaw first before you put down the Zoroark. And then you would have put. Okay. This is a very weird, because now they have literally one card in their hand. So we'll go here. It's fine if they're taking 20, because they're going to get knocked out anyways, really. Trek, do we want... Ooh, that is tempting. But we will not take the Dark Rite V star, and instead we'll take another Dark Rite V. Like, I don't like having all these damage counters on all my Pokemon, but we'll draw until we have... Oh my goodness, we are just not getting any energies. Um, no. Can we get something, like an energy? No, we can't. Okay, well, we'll quick ball the Moltres. Man, again, this is another one of those matchups where you just cannot get anything going. We'll grab Crobat for next turn. Place down the training court just to bump their. Well, rod. Well, we're even gonna ordinary rod right now just because. I think it is important that we do get the dark ride back into the deck, and we'll just put the dark ride back because we don't need an extra mole trace right now, and we'll pass. So we are both in a very similar, horrible situation here, but they can use their feast star power. Ah. See, that's the issue here, is that we can't use our V-Star power in a good enough way. Oh, they're going to just Marnie first. They're not even going to try and use their V-Star power. Okay, so we got a V-Star, or we got we got some stuff of our own. They did not take the fish. 
They're gonna rope. Uh, what do we want to give them? I think the Greninja is important, but it's one prize. So we'll give them the Radiant Greninja. Because it's one prize card. And this leaves allows us to keep two Darkrai's in play, and so we'll evolve the not damaged Darkrai. I wonder if they're going to use Phantom Star now, because they only have, what, four cards in hand? They are using Damage Pump. Okay. Well, they can only put one on one other, so yeah. They're not doing a whole bunch of damage. I think they're actually short. They're actually going to be short on the Radiant Greninja, which is real weird. Unless they place down this Gengars in some way. They're probably just going to go Phantom Star right now. Who knows what they will do? My uh, thoughts is that they're going to use Phantom Star. They're going to get their Gengar in the discard pile. They're going to put the Gengar down. Nope, they're going to use Ultra Ball. So they're going to grab another Zoroark. And, yeah, there's probably another Zoroark V-Star. I did miss it. They put down a V? Huh. I don't know what kooky play our opponent's going for right now. Um... Phantom Star. Uh, okay, you... That was a worthless training court. Um, I wonder what... <laughs> if they got their energy, because they're not placing down anything. Um, my thoughts is maybe they didn't get energy, and now they're gonna have to sit through this or something. Two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay, so... That's not going to do too much. Quick Ball, probably for a um, Crobat. Do they even have another Crobat in their deck? Nope, they have a Diancie. Now, if we do... I do believe we play uh, we play Escape Rope in here. So, if we want, we can Escape Rope something that we want up. But it looks like they're just trying to get damage counters on their Pokemon. So, now they get damage on all of their Pokemon, meaning that they're one-shotting everything. So we just gotta do our best. Oh, they didn't get it! They didn't get it. Okay. Quick Ball the Energy. And we'll grab... Hmm, do we want Crobat? I think we want Crobat first. We'll attach here. Evolve. And then we will Crobat, drawn to we have six. Unfortunate. Okay. We don't... We can Concealed cards first. And we do have... Hmm. We don't have Dark Patch, though. So... We, we can... Do that, or we go here, we switch, and it doesn't seem like they have a good hand. So a quick ball away the boss. Because we have Serena, but okay, we're gonna discard it anyways. We're gonna be we're gonna do that. Serena discard here here. Trying to find a Dark Patch, which we don't get. The Dark Patch. Alright, we'll Dire Flame. We are in a real bad position, everybody. And this is kind of my fault for not doing that properly. Uh... Do we even want to use Star Abyss right now? Mm, for a switching card, so that way they don't take two prizes. You know what? We'll just use Star Abyss now. <laughs> this is so bad. Alright, we'll grab Ultra Ball and we'll grab Switch. Because that way we can go. Okay, we can go Quick Ball, Diancie. Grab the Ho-Oh. Even though we cannot use Ho-Oh yet, we can Ultra Ball away the Ho-Oh and the Energy or the Marnie. 
then the energy. We'll do that, because we're going to research next turn. We'll grab another Dark IV Star. And we'll evolve. Then what we're going to do is we're going to switch into Radiant Greninja, and we're going to pass. So we only have two energies in play, which is not working so well for us. Um, but it looks like our opponent is kind of stuck too, so... We could be okay. We'll see what exactly our opponent is able to do. Or if they are stuck and they can't, they're just going to pass. That's so unfortunate. Now we will use Training Court. And we will go Research. We are not going to give him a Marty. Okay. Air Balloon. We do have things we can do. So let's go Trek. Sure, we'll take that. We'll take a Choice Belt. Choice Belt. Energy. Training Court? Well, Training Court, because we cannot... Use multiple Dire Flames in one turn. We can Concealed cards, too. Alright, let's see what we can grab. Dark Patch, finally! And we will put it on this Dark right here. Then we'll retreat, and we will just go ahead and use Dark Pulse. For only 210. But hey, that was more than the 150 we did last turn or last game. So now our opponent seems to have a very dead hand. So they're trying to make the most of what they have, which is probably nothing. They can use the that to their advantage, but I don't know what they're going to attach to. Probably this V-Star here. Um attach that psychic energy to the V-Star. Um, yeah. No, they're gonna attach to the Gengar. That's odd. Okay. Well, I mean, you gotta start doing damage somewhere, I guess. Let's go Concealed Cards. We do have only uh, nine cards left in deck, too, which is ridiculous that we don't have anything really going on. Let's go Choice Belt. We can go Dire Flame. We can attach our energy, so now we're doing a whole bunch. Um, We don't want a Training Court. Oh, we do, I think. Because we can... Yeah, we can just use Concealed Cards as an extra one next turn. And then we'll Dark Pulse. Finally, we're doing enough to knock out a V-Star. Hooray! All right, we'll take two prize cards. I don't think anything other than Dark Patch is really going to be good now. They're going to go Screaming Circle for not even close to enough damage here. So now what we can do is we can... Nope. Dang, we are going to go the Echoing Horn on the fish. Uh, leave that. But now we can Serena up the... We can Serena up their V-Star. Okay, they're only doing 100 damage. Like, okay. Let's go Serena. And we're going to switch their V-Star here. Come here. Um, we will Concealed Cards first. We're going to just try and attach as much energy as we can. Like, we just go just super, like turbo <laughs> attach right here just to make sure that we have the knockout i think we do but we can still use plenty of other cards like ultra ball away to energies no we still can attach energy so why would we use a dark patch if we don't need to let's attach to the crowbat and then we'll use dark pulse to 330, so we are now knocking out a VMAX. We have that, and we have that. So they try and put up... Okay, so they are going to go... Try and get the knockout. They finally got their double turbo energy. So, yeah. I think we win. 
because we what we can do now is we have double dark patch um we have double dark patch we can just slap on a whole bunch of energies and attack with our second dark ride v star yeah so we pulled through in the end we just needed a couple extra turns to set up so uh our opponent i feel real bad for them because they did not get anything going so now what we'll do is we'll place this dark ride down we'll take our damage we'll go here dark patch here dark patch just because why not here and then we'll just go dark pulse for game 360 damage and we close out this game with a victory 360 damage so dark Rye really can work if we kind of get it set up properly but yeah that is going to do it for dark Rye v star here on the channel we will probably be covering his doing zork on the next um silver tempest video but thank you all so much for watching as always god bless have fun we'll see you out there and we'll see you next time thank you so much for watching